Hello, uh, Spanish 3 students. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is Wednesday morning's lecture uh, from March 25th, 2020. And guys, we're just going to get straight to it. Um, we're going to be at the beginning of the book on page 8 in chapter 1. Um, so let's just get straight into it. Um, vocab here. Guys, I cannot stress enough. Take really good notes. Um, go through the vocab, write the green bolded words in your notes. And if you need help translating things, please use your dictionary. But also at the very back of the chapter, there is a repasso or a review on page 45 with the words from this section. So check that out. Double check your work, add it to your notes. Um, I don't, I don't want to, I can't stress enough uh, on these homework assignments that we're going to be doing um, to not use Google Translate. Uh, you'll learn nothing, and then whenever we're back in person, you'll have a quiz, and your grade will suffer because of it. I don't want that to happen, so refrain from using that at all. Use your dictionary, use your notes, use the book. Um, so with the activities, what we've done is... Um, just kind of post a, a really small template on Google Classroom. Uh, I tried to write the instructions out and write each thing from the book in there, but it does take a lot of time. So what I did was put numbers in, um, the instructions. If things don't make sense, please let me know. But um, you guys will be assigned activity one, through eight um, on page 12 there is an email called las fiestas en el pueblo de felipe and you will need to translate that you'll use that email for activity seven and i'm just gonna be clear on activity seven really quick you'll type in true or false cierta or falsa and then, if it's a false question, you'll correct the false statement. If it's a true question, a, a true statement, then just continue on and go to the next question. You don't need to correct true statements. Um, you guys, are, I mean, you're going to need your book to do these things. It's all right there and straightforward, I hope. But please communicate with me if you need anything. Um, we're going to be going through this voc. We're done with the vocab section today. We'll be in grammar tomorrow. We're going to review preterite and imperfect. Uh, and we're going to uh, pedal through that really quick. Uh, we'll be done with this chapter by the middle of next week. Um, you guys are smart. This is a lot of review and things. I don't want to bore you. Uh, but I also don't want to push you too fast. So please give me feedback. Again, um, that's it, guys. Pretty simple. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you guys soon, I hope.